Hey everybody, welcome back to the Skill Station. My name is Devin and today we're gonna do a video on getting started with VR. This is gonna be pretty basic, but if you are a VR pro, don't leave yet because I need your help. I need you to comment below and tell us about your VR setup. Now, we're not talking about gaming. I don't wanna know about your special setup with your X-Wing headsets and joysticks and pedals. That's all really cool stuff. But what we're really looking for is how are you doing your enterprise setup at your institution um, or in your home office and how are you using VR, okay? Because there's no real one way to do this. Now, this is a video series. So watch the episode that pertains to your needs, whether you wanna know more about prices or the differences between a wired and wireless headset or a discussion around the brands and which one you should get and why. That's all coming, so let's get started. First things first, language around VR. There's really two types of headsets, right? There is the wired headset, this happens to be an Oculus Rift, and then there are wireless headsets, and this happens to be the Oculus Quest 2, okay? Uh, the big difference here is that a wireless headset has a little screen in there, much like a cell phone screen, and it has a, like a cell phone chip inside of it, doesn't need a computer, you can connect it to a computer, um, which allows you to uh, to see some to access some other games and stuff, but uh, and transmit data to it. But uh, really, the intention of this product is for you to put this on and to do VR, be immersed by yourself, and um, be connected to a cloud, so a Wi-Fi, so that way, if you're doing educational training on a quest, it uploads your progress to that cloud, so your instructors and educators can see what you've been doing. Even though you can cast this device, like a screencast, onto a television, it's not that easy. And um, you do need some extra gear in order to make that happen. So really the intention of this, and oh, by the way, casting would be so people could see what you're doing in VR live on another television screen. It is possible. It's just not the easiest. Um, so really the intention of this is for like a classroom of students, right? Or even if you had 25 students and you're going to check these out and you're going to send them home and they're going to give it back at the end of the semester. Um, that's really the name of the game with this. The wired headsets, whether it's an Oculus or an HTC or a Pico Neo or the HP Reverb, that the, the wired headsets intention is for this to be a monitor and the computer to be the brains. And so they tend to be a little bit faster. You can handle better graphics, better, more games or larger enterprise software. And um, you can instantly see what someone's doing in VR because it's like an extended desktop display and I can see what someone is doing on the big screen. So if you're an institution, you can have like a big screen TV set up with this connected to a computer, the computer connected to the TV and it's just like another display. And it's actually really easy to record that screen and access the microphone on the device so you can talk through a lesson and record what you're doing in VR for students. Um, this is really intended to be used one at a time uh, so it would be like a skill station maybe you have set up at, at your institution and students cycle in and out. Or maybe your faculty member has this as a head of class and there's a big screen TV and that allows them to teach in VR, record that video, provide it via a link. That's really the difference between a wired headset and a wireless headset. Thank you so much for watching another Skill Station video. Please click on the red subscribe button and then click on the bell to get notified when exclusive content drops. Comment below, let us know what you like and dislike, and I cannot wait to see you again in VR. See you on the next one. Just hanging out. Not sure if you're gonna go to the next video, maybe click on one of these, huh? Did you hit subscribe yet? You should. We got some good stuff for you.